As legal analysts chime in on Donald Trump's indictment, the 45th president is back in New York for a deposition in a state fraud case. One America's Jessamine Dodd has the latest. Well, District Attorney Alvin Bragg gears up for the case of the century against 45th President Donald Trump. Now, legal analysts and political pundits are calling it the weakest charge. Now, the judge in the case is weighing whether or not to issue a gag order. And speaking of the judge, it was recently revealed that his daughter worked for Kamala Harris's 2020 campaign. I want to bring on political analyst Harley Lippman. He was appointed by Biden and confirmed by the Senate as a member of the U.S. Commission of the Preservation for America's Heritage Abroad. Thank you for joining me. Well, thank you for having me. Now, we are a nation of laws, not men. However, that being said, the legal principle of the presumption of innocence seems to have disappeared in this case. Even Nancy Pelosi said Trump has to prove his innocence. What is the ramification of conviction in the court of public opinion for Donald Trump? Well, it's an extraordinary moment because, as we all know, this has never happened before. So the question is, what are the consequences to this? Right now, the Republicans are feeling a big boost of support. A lot of people are rallying behind Trump. He is getting huge campaign contributions. And even his opponents in the Republican primary have all rallied behind him. So right now, Trump looks good in the eyes of his Republican supporters. Well, let's talk about the election, because have Democrats shot themselves in the foot, as the saying goes? Because Trump's ratings have skyrocketed, and he raised over $10 million since the indictment announcement. Did they essentially hand him the presidency? Well, on one hand, you can say it backfired on the Democrats, given what you just said, and that's a very fair point. But they are taking what appears to be a risky strategy. If you look at the last election, the Democrats told their supporters to vote in Republican primaries where they were allowed to do so for Republican, for Trump nominees. They wanted the, the person that Trump was endorsing to win, let's say in a Senate race. They wanted the candidate who would, would say was a moderate Republican and then one who is a Trump uh, endorsed candidate. The Democrats wanted voters to endorse the Trump endorsed candidate because Democrats thought that that would be the easiest one to defeat. I don't know. It looks like he's gaining a lot of support, especially from the Republican Party. Um, back to the case. Has Alvin Bragg opened Pandora's box, you know, leaving way for Republican prosecutors and DAs to now charge Democrat politicians? Yeah, it absolutely has opened up Pandora's box, which is why I personally don't think it's a good idea to do this. I think that, you know, no president has ever been indicted or brought up on charges of a criminal offense the way we've seen it and for a reason. And so I think that if you do it to Donald Trump, the danger is that they'll do it to Hunter Biden or Joe Biden or Hillary Clinton. Remember the chance of lock her up was very strong and Trump could have chosen to prosecute her. He chose not to. So when you when you do this, you're you're, uh, you know, breaking norms in society that could come back to haunt you. All right. Well, once again, thank you for being here. Harley Lippman. Thank you for having me. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.